wewe ni player umekuwa kwa church na watu wanasemanga watu musician wafai kulipwa na vitu kama hizo then one of the most amazing experiences for me was working with human sekera watu wanasemanga unafanya muziki ufai kufanya muziki tunafaa kuwa madaktari tunafaa kukuwa hizo vitu zenye tumegoro tume tukiona watu wengine wanafanya yes. so any artist you know from Kenya any artist you can think of i have probably worked with them haya hapa ladies and gentlemen presenting to you eh? mr no, no. amani baya amani <laughs> baya <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen karibuni ndani ya Mkenya Marekani kama kawaida. Eh hapa ndo tunawaletea mambo extraordinary na leo tuko na mtu mbaya. Mtu hatari. <laughs> eh? Mnasikianga ma, masufuria zikilia mnashindwa ni nani? Leo tuko na mtu mbaya hapa. Ladies and gentlemen presenting to you eh? Mr. Na, Amani uh, Baya. Amani <laughs> Baya. Eh, Amani Baya yes. A, Amani Baya mwenye. <laughs> Atia yuko kaangware. Ah! Atuko ngwaro. <laughs> siko ngwaro, siko ngwaro. Eh, 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 na ni eh, drama imemleta hapa. Mm, eh, imagine. Hey, bro 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 bro. Hebu ji introduce eh. kwanza watu wakujue. Ah yeah. My name is Amani Baya. Mimi naitwa Amani Baya. Natoka Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, drama musician working with Saudi so Niko Seattle, downtown Seattle. Kwanza isemwe Seattle. Yes, Seattle. Seattle. <laughs> oh, unajua nilisema Seattle? Mse hapo akaandika Seattle like S I R O O. Nikamwambia ulimi imefanya ile kitu. Ulimi imetwistiwa hivi. I was like nasema Seattle alafu nasema eh eh see what see what I'm like okay Seattle. Okay let's go. Yeah yeah. Tutaisema tu hivyo. Vile ina kama vile ina kama. So ladies and gentlemen najua kuna wase wengi wame wame follow Amani maze jani yake ya music wengi wanamfuata. Eh unaona mambo mbo za huku bana. <laughs> wengi wamekuwa kimfuata maze Uh, through music anacheza drum anacheza guitar ana arrange music ana arrange masauti yani um, ni master all, all around yani ulianzaje muziki bro uh, so mimi nilizaliwa kwa family uh, a music family yeah. yeah so i picked up drums along the way kila mtu alipick something kila mtu alipick instrument yake kuna watu wali like drums ni nini na kama hizo so mimi ni like drums uh, na nikapasu hiyo kitu Nikacheza all through my life and then at some point I think around 2007 8 9 hapo ndo nikaamua ah by the way I can do this thing like professionally so nikaingia ndani 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 so it's been a journey yeah. and here we are many years later more than 10 years later Ulianzia ukiwa coast yeah nikiwa coast yeah. nikiwa coast kilifi pale yeah, yeah. yes uh, ni band gani ya kwanza ulicheza nao eh naweza kumbuka kweli <laughs> okay so tuseme family band was the first band yeah and then tukasonga songa uh, tukatengeneza band flani pale Mombasa ile ilikuwa inaitwa Christ Musica tukacheza pale tunacheza gospel rumba uh, a lot of congolese influence ilikuwa ilikuwa pale so we did that and then from then uh, nika move to Nairobi nikacheza na uh, Mtawali's band hapo uh, tulipiga na Naum jamaa yes nikapatana na madam Helen Mtawali my mom Uh, akanitembeza sana like naweza sema like most of my journey uh, I would give it up for that mama yani alinitembeza sana nikajua mara, ma, ma, ma round mingi sana nikajua places mingi sana na uh, after that I think nimework na so many other artists so many bands so many groups uh, played in different churches as well na imekuwa interesting imekuwa interesting wow wow amazing amazing tukiongelea jani ya music na musicians eh watu wanasemanga unafanya muziki ufai kufanya muziki tunafaa kuwa madaktari tunafaa kukuwa hizo vitu zenye tumegoro tukiona watu wengine wanafanya yes. ilikuwa challenge kwako na mapero ah uh, mapero hawakuwa na challenge yeah. because first of all wao ndo walianzisha hii story so naweza kusema if i'm not a doctor Yoni <laughs> ni mzaye alifanya hiyo kitu. If I'm not an engineer, yoni mzaye alifanya hiyo kitu. <laughs> But you know along the way nilisema so sisi wote tukiwa madaktari, tukiwa ma engineer, tukiwa ma pilot, who's gonna play music? So kila mtu goda amempatia opportunity yake na field yake. Uh, mimi field yangu imekuwa music na nili embrace. Nikasema I want to play music until I'm old and toothless. 
Yes. <laughs> that, that, that's fantastic. That's yes. fantastic. Yeah. Now, what are some of the challenges when you grow up in music? Kwanza especially kwa church. Yeah. When mtu when you play umekuwa kwa church na watu wanasemanga watu musician wafai kulipo na vitu kama hizo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, well, uh, that's the yoke to mesema is one of the challenges. It's basically just a mindset, a mentality that so many uh, places have, so many churches have. Um, but it, I think mostly mekwatu how like appreciating art, appreciating musicians and stuff like that. Um, that has been like the biggest challenge. And so many people don't understand what it takes to be a musician. So. Uh, that lack of understanding imefanya watu wanadharau musicians ama wanafikiria they don't uh, they don't need to be musicians yeah. they don't deserve to be musicians ama they need to be doing something different but at the end of the day i think once mtu akielewa who musicians are and what they do inakuwa inakuwa easier inakuwa easier for everybody yeah. especially for musicians because kama mimi i think uh, the hardest part has been to find places where people really know what I'm doing and appreciate what I'm doing. But over time that has changed. People have known who I am. People appreciate what I do. Uh, the many artists that I've worked with, the many projects that I've done, they know what I do. They appreciate what I do. Um, but also I think the other ch challenge has been musicians understanding who they are and what they do and how serious they need to be and how professional they need to be because say like doctors doctors are professional uh ukipata daktari mwenye sim professional huyo si daktari it has to be a passion it has to be something someone loves to do sio tu kazi that's why unaweza pata kuna daktari watu wanamwendea sana because it's a passion na kuna wengine watu wanawa wanawahepa simply because maybe what are prescribed to ama watakuangalia kidogo tu and then wataachana na wewe so for musicians, it needs to be the same thing. You need to understand who you are as a musician and um, how you need to act as a musician. You need to be professional. You need to be diligent. You need, need to be disciplined. Um, those are the things that will actually put you on a different level. People will want to work with you. People will want to have you in their projects. Um, so many doors will open because of those simple things. That's, that's fantastic. On the same token, because before you get out of this topic, uh, Church some, sometimes, uh, since we are saying that we are going to be able to do it, we different places. Come on, we are going to be able to do it. Now, but sometimes, we are going to be able to do it. So, uh, what is the challenge now with, with that? What do you say? Gospel musicians are going to stick to it. We are going to be able to So, the, the, the thing is, uh, God akupatia God, God akupatia responsibility. God has put your gift. It is your duty to use that gift. Yeah. And if you don't use it for whatever reason, yeah. then you are in debt. You get God and what's what's up. So e gift, you have to use it vizuri. So mimi gift yangu ni musicianship, ku play drums. God amen put your gift. Na God na what ya God inasema, your gift shall make way for you shall put you before kings you understand so your gift ndo god ameitumia kuniweka mahali niko who would have thought many years later that ningekuwa ninge states nimekuja states i think mara tatu sasa you understand kuna professor mahali hajakuja hapa bado kuna professor hajatoka country yake you say uh, so the thing is god amenipatia your gift na mimi nimeshukuru your gift actually i think a few days ago is when nilikuwa nimekaa and then a sense of gratitude can hit like who would have thought so many years, uh, um, so many years later, I'd be here? But God, I'm in particular gift. Na uh, ni melan kutumia hi gift vizuri. So I, where the gift takes me, that's where God is taking me. Apo God pia yuko. Mali God akini peleka kwa sauti sol akona mimi apo. You understand? God akini peleka kwa Eunice Jerry. God akona mimi apo. God akini peleka kwa Evelyn Wanjiro. God akona mimi apo. So anani guide and uh, my response is to follow. Malana nipeleka that, that's where I know his provision is his graces that's where I go. Mpenzi mtazamaji kuna sadaka utakuwa unaondoa ndani ya nambari ambayo inapita pale manake umehubiriwa ndugu. 
Tukiongea mambo ya wasanii wenye umepiga nao. Hebu tutajie uh, some of the artists to work now apart from Sauti Sol. Uh, so any artist you know from Kenya, any artist you can think of, I've probably I have probably worked with them. Um, from old school, tuanzie old school. Tukianza na sasa Alfred Mtawali and Mtawali mwenyewe uh, Mama Helen Mtawali. Uh, tukiingia kwa kina Yunis Njeri, Evelyn Wanjiro, tukienda kwa kina Nameless, tukiingia kwa kina anaitwa nani? Uh, Waire, Jua Kali, King Kaka. King Kaka who is here? Mwenye yako hapa ndani. <laughs> na bado wewe ndio unakuwa nyuma pale. Atakuwa hapa. Yeye yeah, sasa anachezewa na band oh, ya yeah, one na one five band. Yeah. Um, like name them. Like name any of them in Kenya. I probably worked with them apart from maybe wakizazi kipya but most of them have worked with them mm. yeah so so ni ni ni, ni gani kati ya hizo yenye iliku, ilikupea like ukafikiria mpaka ukataka kulia yani kwa yeah. sababu una ile grout tili nyumetaja yeah. ikakuja tu ndani ya moyo wako ukasema man yeah. this is god was intending me to do yeah so the, the um, i worked on a project um in a cock studio yeah yeah uh, I met some of the artists that I wished to see and work with. And I, in my wildest dreams, I didn't even imagine. Someone like Salif Keita, legendary Legend musician. I, I never dreamt. Yani, yani siku fikiria, siku wazas, yani. And then I, I played for him. You get? That, that, was, that, was, that was like one of the greatest things for me. Yani working with such a legend mtu nimekuwa nikisikiza muziki yake for leo nikiwa nimekuwa nikicheza kwa bands in my regular gigs you know i got to work with them and then one of the most amazing experiences for me was working with Huma Sekela i worked with Huma Sekela uh, in um, in Uganda in Uganda i was called by um, the legendary Isaac Atumwa Aliniita pale. I was his drama for a while. Yeah, yeah, I remember. So, akaniambia wewe, you must you have to come. Nikamwambia, uh, who am I? To say no. Nikaitika mwito. And then it was nice. It was really nice. Uh, so I think for me those two, those two are like, like the most amazing opportunities that I got and I was really really happy for. Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's fantastic. Kuna vile umeji brand bro, unajua watu wanadhani ingi uh, instrumentally si wasanii. Yeah. Wanadhani tu ah au ni wale vijana wa kupiga piga my instrument wasanii wana treat you different yeah. na watu wa kucheza vyombo now ndio musicians actually yeah. they they make the music you are the, like the producer yes. of that song unajua pali role utaweka unajua yeah. chuvi na nini na nini you are like the base of that song yeah. how has it been for you like especially with people like Sauti Sol because when drums ndio african music drum na bass ndio kusema yes how has it been for you uh, i think for me um, as i said ali it came from understanding who i am and what I do and how important it is. Uh, and with that, I had to, I had to think of ways to, to like make it, make it like the most important thing in, in, in someone's life. Lazima ni kicheza drums pale watu understand uu jamaa, si mchezo tu wanafanya pa, ini kitu muhimu sana, ini kazi, you understand? So I had to put in the professionalism, I had to put in time to fanya research and understand what I need to do. Also, I thank God because I have a knowledge and understanding of how to deal with people and how to work with people. Uh, and one of the things I have learned, I have to be dependable and I have to be diligent and I have to bring out the best in myself and in other people. So like for for people that I work with, um, I I bring stability. I bring stability. I bring professionalism. I bring peace. Like I don't want anyone to worry. Uh, oh, so you need to coordinate? No, no. I am there to hundred percent make sure that the music sounds good. The drums, one whatever they need, that's what I give them, um, and I give out more. Nikipata hiyo nafasi. Yeah. That, that's fantastic. What are some of the biggest challenges uh, being a, a superstar, man? Because kila msani drama, kuna watutuwa na angaliwaga. Yeah. <laughs> Ikifika ni kutaji wa madrama, yeah. amani anakuanga pale. Unona jwe building, anakuanga huko hivo. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
what are some of the challenges kuko na hiyo title pia and people are looking up to you uh, um, i think the biggest challenge is assumption assuming that i am inaccessible assuming that i am expensive as i could be expensive but expensive is relative it's relative Ac uh, expensive is relative uh, basically just assumptions that a man is this kind of a person hawezi fanya hivi hawezi and vitu kama hizo and i was telling a friend Josie nikamwambia that has been like the biggest challenge you know once we sit uh, with someone then they realize oh Oh, see, yeah, see what I'm saying. Like, what you get. So basically, that's the assumption. Uh, that's 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 one of the biggest uh, challenges. But the rest, the challenges are wider. The the kimaisha, the whatever everyone else is going through. Even though msani wa kawaida, either superstar or not, that's what they go through. Yeah. It's just that most of the time, since it's not assumed because we are top or whatever they are doing, ni classy or something, to nataka ku either ku in a particular way, I'm in a particular way. But the thing is, once you get the opportunity to hang out with someone, then you understand. How I say, ni 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 Kuna mpenzi mtazamaji hapa mrembo binti fulani anaweza kuwa anauliza Amani huyu anapiga nga madram. Kuna mtu anampiga nga ma. <laughs> Sipigwi na mtu. <laughs> okay na mimi sipigi watu. <laughs> Asking for them. <laughs> no me I'm single. Yeah. Eh, na I think watu huwa wameuliza hili so wengine hata hawa walichoka kuuliza. Yeah. But thing is I think for me I've just enjoyed the journey I've been in. Ah uh, ya kuwa single I'm still single. Uh, I'm looking forward to finding Mimi nda, nda, zawadi kutoka Marekani. Wa Kenya inaonekana wamekushinda. Ndakutafutia Marekani mmoja hivi ametulia. <laughs> yeah, so hiyo time ikifika uh, maybe hata hamtajua because napenda kucheza chini ya maji, chini ya waba, <laughs> chini ya waba. But when that time comes, I'm not saying the right time comes, but I'm saying when the time comes uh tutasonga. Yes, yeah. tutafika kwenye hiyo position. <laughs> so bro, yeah. eh, umepiga tua ya, ya majuba na. Na I think ni one of the biggest um, concert yenye sauti solo wamefanya in the US kwa yeah. sababu ni, ni tour around the, like five states. Yeah. Na sijui inasemekana ni ya mwisho baada tu taongea sauti solo. Yeah. Tutaongea kwako. How yeah. how is that experience been? Umetoka Dallas, umekuja me, mlienda mliko wapi first? Uh, first we were in Atlanta. We did our first gig in Atlanta. Uh, back at theater, it was amazing, amazing. The turnout was amazing. The crowd was amazing. The music, everything was amazing. The experience was amazing. And then Dallas, that was the second gig. Uh, that was the second show. Tumefanya Juicy, uh, that was amazing. And then sasa tuko Seattle. Um, itakuwa safi sana. Inside a three thousand seater, baba. Yeah, yeah. Na imeja pomoni. Yeah, itakuwa safi sana. Yeah. I think basically for me it has been an amazing experience. It's always an, an, a special and amazing experience for me to get the opportunity to tour and go around the world, to do what I love yeah. to do, which is... How music. many countries have you gone so far? Uh, can I, I'm not sure I can name them. Kiburi ndugu! Nyenyekea ndugu! Unajipaza! Unajipaza! Unashushua! Nikatika unyenyekevu huu ambao nasema kwa mba siwezi nikazisema zote mana ni nyingi! Na ndani ya mziki tu. Ya mziki tu. It's just music, yeah. Bro, so, mpenzi mtazamaji. There's something God has created in you. That you have to follow it. To pursue it. Yes. Yondo kitu. Usitake kukopi. Mm. Umse ya liyamua. Kuna sikuata alikuwa na peo miambili. Ama fifty. Mm. Mm. Na katulia. Saizi ni one of the most paid. Eh, na anapei analipo in dollars. Hata akiwa Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> Sitake kusema mambo mingi. Yeye ndio anasema mambo mingi. Atafuatua. <laughs> So, uh, Seattle meonaje by the way? Nimeipenda, yeah. sijapata muda kuitembea vizuri, yeah. but so far, nimependa the experience, uh, the people are really nice here, warm. Uh, also the weather, nimekuja wakati mzuri, yeah, yeah. the weather is really, really nice. Uh, as you... What are some of the culture shoku mepata America, generally? Watu wanafata sheria. <laughs> Watu wanafata sheria za barabarani. 
Red inamaanisha red. Red inamaanisha red. Haimaanishi almost go. No 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 no. Red inamaanisha red. Simama. Stop. <laughs> alafu alafu unaona pedestrian wana, wana barabara zao, ah. baiskeli na barabara zao. Kila mtu anatembea sehemu yake, kila mtu akona mahali kwake kwa kutembelea. Gari na sehemu yake, watu wana sehemu yao. Alafu watu wanaheshimika. Unajua kule unaweza ukagonga mtu ama ukaribu kugonga mtu, mtu anakuangalia unafikiria ni makosa. Lakini the thing is lazima uheshimu hao watu because hao ndio pedestrians. Yeah. Hao watembei kwa gari. Ni dereva anafaa kuwaona. Eh, hey, dereva no, hey, hey, sio the other way around. Yeah. You get. Sasa kule kwetu hey, mtu anaweza pita na wewe kimchezo mchezo tu. Eh. Na hakuna sheria kukamata huyo mtu pia. Mwenye amemgonga. Atahepa. <laughs> Atahepa. <laughs> Atahepa. Unless mtu ni ameamua kutu kuwa mzuri. Yeah, like. yeah. Na vyakula umepata vyakula vya Kenya so far? Ah, nimekula vyakula vya Kenya tangu nije. Yeah. States. Nimekula vyakula vya Kenya tangu nije. Which is, has been an amazing experience. Because nimekula ugali. Nilifika hivi the first thing nilikula nilikula ugali. Na kuku. <laughs> Nazi ya GMO. Ah, <laughs> Kenyeji. Ah, I enjoyed. I enjoyed yeah. myself. Wow. Actually, Jana for the first time ndio nimekula nimekula burger. Uh-huh. And I was like, "Eh, hey, bana sijakula junk since I came. So let me eat some, some of that." Some. Uh, <laughs> let me eat some of that. <laughs> so I enjoyed that. Uh, but as time goes by pia na learn kwamba wherever you go you try and adjust yeah, yeah, usipeleke yeah. usipeleke uke, usipeleke ukenya mwingi yeah. sana you know like una, una learn una learn environment yako unajua watu wanafanya vitu vipi yeah. how do they handle issues wanakula nini and then you unaona ni kitu gani unaweza fanya yeah, yeah. Hey. Yeah, definitely so mr amani baya maze we appreciate you being here uh, na najua unafaa kwenda matayarisho nini na nini huyu ndugu anaenda kukuja nitakuwa na ma clips kadha kadha wakipiga pale kwenye show yes. naambia tu wasio naweza kupata wapi unachezanga wapi regularly watu wa uh, so most of the times i am i am all over the place lakini ipo joint moja pale Nairobi inaitwa Gecko Cafe i am there mostly on tuesdays pale inakuanga jazz yeah. and experimentations ni nini inakuanga easy gig pale huwa tuna have fun for two hours from 7 to like 9 pm um mi wa church pepper runda pale that's my home uh, shout out to rev stano stano ni msa wa nguvu sana god has it to bless uh, na flora pale for holding us down as a worship uh, leader and for every person pale Jua tu we really I really appreciate you guys. So, yeah yeah. Na mm. na kwa social kwenye socials, kwenye socials. Kwenye socials niko Instagram pale Amani Baya, Facebook Amani Baya, niko YouTube Amani Baya, I have a few tracks pale, covers and so much more that's coming up. Wow. Yeah. That's mm. fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, that has been Amani Baya mwenyewe. Yes. Big up bana. Asante sana. Wazi wazi wazi. Cheers uh, man. Asante. Sawa. Asante.